Get ready for a bloody good time. I'm the Flannel Fox Tim Swernick, and I reviewed Super Meat Boy on the Nintendo Switch. Originally released in 2010 by Team Meat, Super Meat Boy is a challenging 2D platformer where you play as a boy with no skin, who's in love with Bandage Girl, whom is kidnapped by Dr. Fetus, a fetus in a jar, in a tuxedo with a monocle. But Super Meat Boy must win her back. With only a few buttons at your disposal, you can jump and run. Holding jump longer allows you to jump higher. Running increases your speed and allows you to jump further. Depending on the world that you're in, the environment contains different hazards for Meat Boy to maneuver through. Spinning blades, salt piles, and hypodermic needle stacks will end Meat Boy with just one touch. As Super Meat Boy is an incredibly difficult game, get ready to die, and die a lot. With a fantastic level replay mode, upon completion you watch all of the lives lost in the current level, some flooding the screen with your failed attempts. After playing the game on almost every system it's been released on, I can tell you it never gets old. The developers created this as an homage to the wonderfully difficult games of the past, and since its release in 2010, Meat Boy has inspired many indie developers of today. The tight controls and fast re-entry has shown up in many indie titles since and for good reason. Super Meat Boy was and is a fantastically mechanized platformer that feels great when falling through levels with pinpoint precision. While I've seen on Reddit some concerns of input lag, I haven't had any issues and once I reacclimated myself with the controls, boy do they feel great. New with the Nintendo Switch Edition is Race Mode. Playing head-to-head -head with a bud in a local co-op trying to beat a number of levels first. You can choose from 10, 20, 30, or 40 levels to race through, light and or dark levels and play them in random order or in a normal world's progression. If both playing in the same level, you can see your opponent, which throws you off at first, but is great because you can see the other player die, which is the perfect motivation to get you through those tough, tough challenges. If you've already played Super Meat Boy, which most of us have, then the Nintendo Switch version is a perfect opportunity to jump back into this wacky, challenging world once more. The addition of race mode is absolutely worth it to battle a buddy in a bar. If you've never played Super Meat Boy, littered with secret worlds and unlocks, there is so much content in this amazing platformer to keep you hooked for many more hours. Many have considered this a modern day classic, and I am absolutely one of them. That's why I'm giving Super Meat Boy on the Nintendo Switch a 9.5 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video game review, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and follow me on Metacritic and Twitter at TheFlannelFox. See you next time, Switchers.